Shalom. Kohalo Yahweh Shai Bashamakakwadash. The bonus unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations unto all my fellow laborers that do this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Now more so than ever. To the confusion of faith, brothers joined unto our ranks and sisters. To the uh, to the Akwath that are joined on you or you know that are listening and learning, the few of you that are. To you I give a hearty and sincere shalom. This is your brother Malcolma from the branch of GMS here in Chicago. All right, once again, giving all praises, glory, and honor unto the Most High, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and double honors unto my apostles and my elders. All right, um, this was a video that uh, that I watched with the apostle yesterday. This is uh, a man who needs no introduction. He's uh, infamously famous on earth, heroically famous among Yasharala, you know, in heaven. And I believe that with everything that I am. All right. Because this man and, and a few other men, are, um, you know, they gave me the greatest gift that could ever be given, and which is the truth. You can give no greater gift than the truth. All right. And uh, th these are the vessels that that the truth came into the earth through um, at this day and era. You know, they're 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 among those vessels. And he said something, uh, he made a, 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 a very holy and epic statement in his video. And what he said, what I highly suggest that you go and watch this. This was called The Initiated. All right. And you, then you know how the apostle gets, gets down. He goes into the, to the meanings of words and break that. Hey, that's who I, that, hey, that's who I learned from, man. I learned more than, than, than I can say from, from my apostles. All right. All of them. Okay, they all have their uh, their strengths and their gifts, and I've learned from them all. But one thing that that uh, Apostle Gabar here instilled in the men of GMS is to look up the meaning of words. That's how you get the true understanding about things. The meaning of words are very important. Just like uh, you know, names name names have a have a power to them. All right. You know, you shouldn't just uh, name a child something because it sounds good. You know, names have meanings to them. That's something that you so-called Negroes need to understand. These Negroes and you so-called Hispanics be giving these children some screwed up names just because you like the way it sounds. All right. But uh, what he said was it was a time of the prophets. And that stood out in my head. And um, and I put together a list of scriptures that I want to go to to substantiate that. You know, because it is the time of the prophets. All right. And the first scripture is going to be Isaiah. The 42nd uh, chapter. And the. Uh, the first verse, and it says, behold, my servant whom uphold mine elect. Right. That's that initiated that the apostle was speaking of the elect. OK. In whom my soul delighteth. All right, I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. All right, that's in Isaiah, the first chapter. Okay, let me just peek at another quick precept that I hadn't counted among mine. Let's lock you for a second. No, if you don't. This lesson, if you got a short attention span, I try to make my videos short for that reason. It's precise to the point, because I know how Jake is. <clears throat> yeah, this is there. This is Matthew 12 and 18. Matthew quoted what Isaiah said. And it reads, Behold my servant who I have chosen, my beloved, in whom my soul is well pleased, I will put my spirit upon him, and he shall show judgment to the Gentiles. Yeah, he quoted, this was Isaiah quoting, uh, I mean Matthew, Salakia, quoting Isaiah the prophet. Okay? And what are we always telling you, man? 
that all the disciples, the men of the Lord, Paul included, all they did was quote what the prophets were saying. All right? It's, it's always been about the elect, and the elect were there in the beginning. It tells you that in, in, in John, John 1 and 1. All right? They were there in the beginning. The first spirits created were the elect, right? Before they were even called Israel. They were called, they were once called the, they were called the elect. Then they were called the sons of God. Okay? Next scripture. Who is the Lord praying for? Well, let's go to the book of John. This is John 17, 9. All right? This is a killer to, uh, uh, to, to John 3, 16. All right? I pray for them. Who is the them? All right. Who is to them? I pray not for the world. Did you hear that? You wacky tacky Christians. I pray not for the world, but for them thou hast given me for they are thine. And who is that? Who is that? They the elect who were there in the beginning. All right. And now they're going to be here in the end. The elected, the elect that are here on the earth are going to get lifted up with Yahweh Shai. And the, the dead, the dead, the elect of the dead are going to get raised up to join unto Yahweh Shai. And then spiritual power is going to be given unto them to do greater things than what the Lord did. Hey, the Lord walked on, on water. The Lord commanded spirits. The Lord brought, resurrected the dead. He brought, he brought the spirit back into dead bodies. And healed them. He healed the sick, the lame, the blind. He disappeared and reappeared. Alright? You have prophets that shut up heaven. You have prophets that call fire down from heaven. You people have no idea what you're in for. Alright? Once the elect get lifted up fully, man. Alright? And it's like a, a, a butterfly in a cocoon. Alright? And, and, and you're starting to see the movement. All right, because of because of the butterfly is about to come out of the co co the cocoon, man. You know how 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 it says Jacob thou thou worm, and it compared the Israelites, it really talking about the elect to a worm. Because what is a worm? A worm is a defenseless creature, man. We're defenseless down here. We're defenseless. Esau can roll on us any time. Cut off our water. Cut off our power. Cut off our lights. Sh shut up our bank accounts. Come grab us up. Take your taxes. Take your licenses. Esau could do anything. We're totally defenseless again. Even when we're telling the truth, it does not matter because Esau has a voice that, that can that can drown out the, the truth. He's been doing it for, for hundreds of years now. And thousands in some cases. Alright? But he can't stop the truth of the Lord, though. But that doesn't mean he can't stop an individual man who's doing the work of the Lord. So we are like worms. But see, that those worms are in that cocoon, which is protected. So we're, we're in the time of the protection now, man. Okay? And some of those, some of us, and I, I pray that I be among them because I want, <laughs> I want that prize, which is my foot on the neck of my enemies to see my enemies fall. All right, but some of us are gonna emerge butterflies, man. <laughs> like they got the upcoming uh, Godzilla movie, Mothra. Okay, but John seventeen nine, it says, "I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which Thou hast given me, for they are Thine." So the elect belong unto Yahweh Shai, and those are the Israelites that He came for, because the two thirds of Israel are already marked for death. It's written. It's been spoken, so it is written, so it shall be. And there's nothing you can do about it. So any Israelite that's saying all of Israel and the whole nation, that, that's not of the Most High. And that, that person is more than likely not of the elect. Because the elect understand that it's only going to be one third, which is a small number, compared to the two thirds. So the majority of our people are going to be against this truth, right along with the heathen against the prophets or they're going to teach it improperly because the Lord is not with them. This is Isaiah 48 and 1. 
and it reads, Hear ye this, O house of Jacob, which are called by the name of Israel, Yasharala. All right. And I come forth out of the waters of Judah, which swear by the name of Yahweh, and make mention of the power of, of Yasharala, but not in truth, nor in righteousness. So the Lord was talking to the house of Israel. And it's funny how these Edomites and these heathen, they can watch like Game of Thrones and they understand the house of Targaryen. They understand that that's talking about only the people who, who, who are from that bloodline or the house of Lannister, or the house of Stark. They understand all that stuff. But then when it comes to the house of Israel, all of a sudden it's talking about the whole damn world. You people are sickening in your stupidity, in your arrogance, and your sickening. But yet, you're so enlightened with such high IQ, a bunch of fucking dummies. And no, don't excuse my French. I meant that shit. Let's go to the book of Joel. Basic scriptures. Well, Amos was on the list and I got there first. This is Amos. Three. Verses one and... Uh, Two, three. All right, and it reads, Hear this word, Yahweh have spoken against you, O children of Israel, which really says sons. All right, against the whole family, which are brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known. You only have I known. You only have I known. Of all the families of the earth, so that whole, for God so loved the world, that's a lie. They didn't explain, remember the beginning, well, it, the man on, on the screen is one of the main men that push the prophet on the screen. It's one of the main prophets that push, that, that pushed looking up the meaning of words. Well, John 3.16 does not mean what the seminaries have taught. They taught lies. Right? It's talking about a specific world, a particular group and sect of people. The words cosmos, all right, or cosmos, whichever way, potato, potata. If it meant all the inhabited earth, the word there would have been oinkamini. All right? So they lied. But it says, verse 2, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. All right. So it was talking about Israel. OK. This is Amos 3 and 70. 7. Surely Yahweh power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servant, the prophets. And the prophets came out of where? The house of Israel. Yasharala. They came out of Jacob. It wasn't an Edomite prophet. It wasn't a Moabite or Ammonite prophet. A, a, a Palestinian prophet of Philistine was West what a Philistine was a Palestinian same thing it wasn't a hemetic so-called African prophet and any prophets that came out of any of those lands that I just mentioned was because they were Israelites that were dwelling in those lands you people are so simple next scripture This is Colossians 2 and verse 2. That their hearts might be comforted being knit together in love and unto all riches of the full assurance of understanding to the acknowledgement of the mystery of power and of the Father and of Hamashiach in whom are hid all treasures of wisdom and knowledge. The elect. The elect. 
the time of the prophets. This is the time of the prophets. So don't you worry about anything, brothers. Those, all those other things, your health, your woman, your family, your job, all those things will fade away. Hold on to that gift, which is Sophia, that wisdom. And everything will be given unto you. Same as, hey, does Solomon want for a woman? Does Solomon want for riches? Why? Because he sought for Sophia. He sought after wisdom. You seek after wisdom. And that covers all the bases, man. The Lord will, will, will take care of you. He'll give you everything you need, man. You go after wisdom. Put your, your worries and your cares on, on, on the battle's not yours, man. Stop trying to fight it yourself. All right? Let's go to the prologue of uh, Sirach. All right? Alright, this is uh, the, the prologue, and I'm just going to read the first paragraph, the first, all the way up to the first, uh, the first sentence fully, alright, in the first paragraph, the first sentence. It said, the prologue made by uncertain author, this is uh, the wisdom of, of Hawashai, the son of Sirach, or Ecclesiasticus, which means, which is basically mean Ecclesiastes, which means to be called out, man. And who's called out? The elect. All right. And you know how I learned that, what that word Ecclesiastes means? I learned it from the very man that you're looking at. All right. Who is worthy of double honors. All right. For all of any of you who are, who are, who've ever said anything uh, um, that was less than honorable about him, the most high, hey, there's a sword waiting for you, man, a sword of destruction. A prologue made by an uncertain author. This, this Yahweh was the son of Sirach and the grandchild of Hawashai of the same name with him. This man therefore lived in the latter times after the people had been led away captive all right, and called home. So this is after the uh, Babylon. All right. And now they're being called home. All right. And almost after all the prophets. So this is after the time of the prophets. Now it's the time of the prophets again. But that also proves that the, the whole Bible, including the Apocrypha, was to the Israelites. And that the salvation is first for the elect. Because all of Israel will be saved. But the two-thirds of Israel will be saved. They, they get the blessing in the kingdom. They have to die on this side for what is written. Zechariah tells you two thirds of them. I think it's Zechariah 13th chapter. Two thirds should be cut off and die. Right? It tells you in uh in either Sirach or Second Ezra that that uh death by pain. They will get it after death by pain. There's a punishment that has to be paid for their iniquity, for their transgressions of the law. For what they, and besides, they, they killed the prophets over and over again. A lot of them want to kill us now. Okay. The last scripture is going to be in Ezekiel. Which is Ezekiel 34 and 31. It says, and ye my flock, the flock of my pasture, are men. And I am your power, saith Yahweh power. So Yahweh is the power of the house of Yasharala, the house of Israel. And what time is it? As my cousin would say, he actually is my cousin, believe it or not. It's the time of the prophets. Call Halal Yahweh by Shem Abishai by Shem Rakaq Wadash Wa Abba Baba. Definition is as follows Admit someone. Now, 
this is from uh, Google, right? Admit someone into a secret or obscure society or group. 